So following on from part one of the tutorial, I'm now going to start designing my question one screen and I'm going to demonstrate this in this part of the tutorial. So I'm going to minimize my emulator and I'm going to go to the, the designer for question one. I'm going to change the title to question one. And I'm going to start off again with the image at the top, so I'm going to use a layout and it's fill the parent, there's 150 and I'm going to use the image because so my image will load up. So I have to look at the structure and what way I'm going to use, what components I'm going to use for my um, quiz and I'm going to use the checkbox so the user will see the answer and then we'll click the checkbox and the code then will decide whether it's right or wrong so the first thing i want to have is i want to have the question in and i'm going to just put it in horizontal arrangement fill parent and in there i'm going to put a little label it's always good to make sure you name your components in case you're going to use them for any part of the block code so I'm going to rename that to LDL question 1 and in there I'm going to put the text what is the capital city of England and I can make that bold. I can change the color. You can customize colors once you pick the color. So I want to make them blue. I want a darker blue, I'd customize it. So made it a darker blue like the lighter blue so I'm going to keep it blue so what is the capital city of England and we're going to have four answers and to do this we're going to have again for the layout if you want to have the answers in the middle what you might have then is horizontal and what you want is you want a vertical for the actual question so I'm going to put this horizontal fill parent and within that horizontal I'm going to put a vertical arrangement I can go to the parent arrangement and I can align it to the center and in this vertical arrangement I'm going to put four check boxes so and I'm going to rename them to chk and swung chk and two chk and three and chk and four and I'm going to put them with the answer. So in the first one, I'm going to put Dublin. In the second one, I'm going to put London. In the third one, I'm going to put Cardiff. And in the fourth one, I'm going to put Glasgow. And I'm going to set the text color blue bold and then text color blue bold text color blue and bold and text color blue and bold So with the four answers, and I know that London 
is going to be the right answer so this is going to be the one that I'm going to use in the actual blocks but before I start I'm going to actually put down another horizontal arrangement and in there we're going to have the actual score sometimes it's good to maybe give a bit of space so this one I'm going to use just to give five pixels of space between the score and the questions and the one underneath I'm going to use for my um, this horizontal range I'm going to use for keeping my score so again I'm going to drag a label on and I'm going to name this one it's important now you name this one because this label is going to be updated from the actual score and in there you can type S-C-O-R-E just to see it you might set the font size a bit bigger and again you might set the colour and the font so that's the sort of components set up for the quiz and the simple the first thing that I'm going to do is because this is question one I'm going to actually initialize so whenever the screen is initialized so if I click on Q1 you'll see there's a, an event when Q1 initialize I'm going to set this score the text of it so I'm going to set LBL score text to score going to set it to zero because we'll have an actually answered any question so run this on my emulator I'm going to have to reset the emulator reset connection and run the emulator so when my emulator loads up I get the different layers now I have to go and put the code behind so that whenever London's clicked this score will become one and the scores recorded or keep them stored in the tiny db that you can then bring to the next screen